All right, guys, so we're going to be back here in the UFC 3. You guys seem to enjoy it the first episode, so I thought I'd drop another episode here. So let's get right into it. Let's see who we're fighting next. Who are we fighting, man? Just line them up. Just line them up. It's not even a, you know, a matter of who. Just line them up. Fighting Lance Kane. Bring it on. Five and four. Get that salty record out of here. Get that salty record out of here, man. Yeah, we'll continue to train at Carsey's here. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of it. I think it suits us because we... Yeah, if we go to the ground, it's going to be trouble. Todd Green. Hey, uh... Oh, I guess I didn't... We can change that, I think. We're supposed to be at somebody. So I guess I could just do, like, at Cameron Katie TV, like our channel. You've been killing it in the WFA. Dana White will be scouting talent on looking for a fight TV show at your next fight. Put on a show, kid. This could be your ticket to the UFC. I like how there's options, too, where you can pick, like, multiple different ways. I'll worry about that after my fight. I'll do my absolute best to impress. I'm here to put on a show. You know what? I, I haven't just knocked out two people for nothing. I'm looking to put up a fight. Um, ooh, we're already in moderate fitness here. Oh, I like this fitness thing. Did we not fight this guy? Well-rounded wrestler or just another wrestler guy? Uh, look for this fighter to use their combinations to set up a takedown. Do not get caught throwing long combination. Keep your combination short with jabs and straights, alright? So it's looking like we want to jab this guy's face off. I gotcha. I gotcha. They, they don't say I got one of the best jabs in the game for nothing, man. Way to block. I'll jab someone's face off. That's for sure. Okay. Good block. See, the, this is the kind of fighter I want to be. I want to be an in and out kind of fighter where we can get in range very quickly, but I also want to have nice head movement and I don't have the best head movement skills, so we'll have to work on that. Like I want to be able to dip and just be like, I don't know if you guys watched clear back when Anderson was in his prime, kind of like that. Probably not going to be much of a ground fighter. I at least want to be able to defend myself though if it gets to the ground. Man, uh, we're fighting at 70, and these are some big guys up here. Like, is it, I'm there's not many 170 guys that are 6'3", and we're 6'3", and this guy's taller than us. So I'm hoping that's not going to be something we run into, running into it. Is that 100% factors into it. If your guys are bigger, teep kicks are difficult to defend. Keep your block up, move into close range. The teeps cannot connect. So... This guy's a wrestler who also knows how to throw teep kicks. All right. That's a little scary. It looks like we're running into a taekwondo master who's also a wrestler, bruh. That just, that's not how you win. So first things first, we need to get into peak fitness. All right, we're one away from peak fitness. I Man, we want to get that up as well. I just want to get that power up. I say once we get to power to 80, we start going into other things. But I say we get power to at least 80. You know what? We just want to knock people's lights out. And this looks pretty tough to get up. As you can see, like, it doesn't go up by even one a time. So, maybe even a little more than 80. Maybe we just spam it for this last time. And then after this, we just go into other things. But I just want to be so powerful. But I feel like this is pretty important too. Accuracy, strike stamina. What are we at here? All right, so we'll just get our 80 power like we wanted. And now we'll go into our accuracy a little bit. Chin strength is probably a good thing. You know, we don't want to get wobbled with a freaking little just... Little jab to the face doesn't want to wobble us. Man, we're such a striker. We're so one-dimensional right now. If we have to clinch or just get in... Go for the takedown. It's not going to be looking great, man. Let's get our accuracy up to 80 and we'll finish out on the power. Just to get a little extra in there. Okay, man. We're looking dirty. So we got some nice strike speed, power, endurance, and now accuracy. We're at 105 peak fitness. If you go over 105, it puts you into overtrain. So that's just not good. So 105 is as high as you can be. So we're as... 
well prepared as you can be going into this fight here. All right, so it looks like this is going to be one of our only chances to get into the UFC here. We need the win. Dane is here. Dane is here. That's big. Fighting a wrestler. Like, you know what? Let's put on a show. I'll take a win, though. I'll just take a win by any means. I'm going to that body early and often. I want to time to take his gas tank away. That's just such a big deal. When you start going to their body and their gas starts going, I mean, fighters do it to me all the time. When I'm playing his, it just go. your gas goes down quick. Mm. Okay, he's just getting out of the way of those body shots. See? It's tough. Maybe we want to start... Oh, that's dirty right there. That sounds nasty. That's got to hurt. That's got to hurt. And then when we start going to the body with those kicks, maybe we can go up high. Ah, just out of reach. So we don't want to throw too many big strikes and miss, though, because... Ah, uh, well, we're run out of injury. Energy real quick. Dang, words are hard for me right now. Man, fight me, bro. I'm just good. I have explosive knockout power, though. All right? You need to know that. You need to know that. Well, you don't need to, but I'll show you. I come out of nowhere. Oh, that's nasty. Kind of stunned him there. He stumbled. See, so save our energy up. I, I think we'll just have explosions. Oh, sh he shot. We got to make him pay for it. So, did he? S Ooh, that leg kick. That don't feel good. You, you want to sit on the fence? You be my guest, bro. That's not a great place where you want to sit with me. I'll pick my strikes. I'll knock your lights out. Come on, yes. Okay, this guy can take a bit of a beating, to be honest. Kind of surprised. Kind of want to chew his leg up a little bit, too. You're just looking for that shot, man. Nasty body kick. Oh my, we're, we're tearing this guy up right now. The combos are just there. The combos are there. I mean, we're shredding him. Let's, sh let's show off our head movement a little bit. Okay. Things are working out. Just in time to block the head kick. All right, this guy wants... Oh, okay, he gets me down. Oh, elbowing him in the face. He's on top. Nine-second takedown, sure. Get your takedown, bro. Get your takedown after I annihilated you that round. Dude, we don't even have a scratch on our head. We're clean. We clean. Here we go. That was a nice round for us. We pieced him up. We pieced him up. No glove touch, bro. Sorry about that. I'm here to win. Oh, that's a nice front kick. That uppercut, I feel like, should be a sleeper, though. Mm. How did his straight get there before mine? Okay, how did that even land? I'm looking for the head kick. Oh, you're lucky. Okay, we just missed. Nice. No, oh, he got me down. That's really bad. Guys, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh, my. I don't like this. Oh, it's so tough to get out of these spots, too, man. We got to wait till we block a couple good strikes and then get him. Okay, we got him. Oh, he's up again, man. Get up, get up, get up. We got up. That's that's really good. We cannot go to the ground with this guy. He'll just hold us down. Okay. How is he starting to land on me here? We caught him a little bit. You're lucky, man. I 
don't get how he knows when we're throwing head wow. kicks. <gasps> oh my. Dude, this guy is insane. Let me kick you in the face. Oh, that was a really good counter on my part. This guy is a freaking punching bag with eyeballs. He just won't go down. Or what is beating the crap out of him, dude? I mean, honestly, this is just a one-sided beatdown right now. He's landing his shots, a couple. But, I mean, my God, we're just annihilating him. Come on, bro. Oh, you're... Oh, you're running. You're running! Get out of here! Yes! That's a knockout. Head kick. Add it to the resume, bro. 3-0. Is that good enough for the UFC? Are you not impressed, Dana? Are you not impressed? That head kick was nasty. That head kick was sick. No ginger power today, bro. Sorry. The ginger win night night. Ah, oh, that was a, that was a bloody one. We barely got a scratch on us, you know. That's kind of crazy. We increased our power to eighty. That guy was just eating shots. Wow. As you can see, I mean, yeah, we've had a couple decent fights, but we're only down to ninety six longevity. That just shows you like we're not getting touched. I mean, he landed eighteen significant strikes. Look at the total strikes. Only 48. We landed 80, dude. We threw 164 strikes. That's a lot. That's a lot. It was a little concerning, though. This guy is no takedown expert by any means, and he was 2 of 6. We're going to have to address that. How beat up was he? Well, his body wasn't that beat up at all. We just destroyed his face, though. We destroyed his face. Let's go ahead and see who we're taking on next. They might have a message for I us, actually. Guys that have that enthusiasm and excitement. Ooh, Dana. Be in the UFC so bad. So we in? We in the UFC, bro? I need a yes or a no. And I actually checked. Uh, I guess we're just stuck with the at created fighter social. Because I didn't see you were supposed to enter that in at the beginning. It won't let me edit it now. So I guess we're just at created fighter social. That's our name now. That's our name. It's so weird. Hey, at created fighter social. <laughs> what is that? I'm coming for you. You'll see this face soon. Hashtag got lucky. This is the guy we just starched. Um, hope you can make it to the big leagues, bud. Hope you can make it. What? How are you trash talking? We just ended you. I could see maybe it was like a three round war and you thought you got robbed, but bro. Got knocked out like there's not much we, you can go on here you you got knocked out hey I, do, hey I think we had a tat to our guy let's tat our guy up a little bit just won our first fight let's tat him up all right guy man i'm not i'm not really feeling the cornrows here to be honest i don't have my hairstyle um i mean they do have a full man button but we don't got that going on if you know what i'm saying so we'll just have to go short haired see what we can find here Maybe get a little something crazy. I mean, that's probably the closest you're going to get there. I guess. So, what's wrong with that, man? It's actually not bad. That ain't bad. So, we, we did put a tat on ourselves. Just a little cross on our back here. You know, just a little cross. Man, we're shredded, bro. We shredded. All right. Some new fight offers here. Who do we got? Probably want to fight as soon as possible. So, we don't want to wait to like 112-ish. So one of these guys, who do we want to fight? This guy's 6-3, and 5-4. and four. I'll show guys that we're no slouch. Let's go up against the better record guy, Jake Green, our first UFC opponent. Oh, the, this opponent is a member of your current gym. Don't want to do that. Don't want to look like a traitor up in here. So I guess we're going to take on this guy. I guess. I would have took on the other guy, but we need to train our boxing, and we, we just don't have enough money to buy another membership anywhere. So, unfortunately, we got a stick there. Um, so, we haven't earned the plus contract yet. So, we still have these basic ass kind of trading partners. So, really not great, dude. Like, we just, 
We don't have any moves right now. I guess we just spam upgrades on our guy. See what we can get. Hey, told you I'm coming for you. Just signed my UFC contract. Hashtag amateur. Okay, well, if I'm an amateur, what are you? Because I beat you. Um, none of these are great. I mean, why? I mean, I guess let me see that fight off and we'll run it back. Sure. I'll beat your face down again. He's a rival. Okay. Yikes. Uh, how are you a rival, bruh? Sparring. A brawler always looks to get up. Looks for the ground. For the get up one on the ground. Well, good. Good. Is this going to be a brawler going against a brawler? Good thing to know this guy shouldn't shoot. So we got to. This next fight should get here. We got a stand up guy versus stand up guy in us. Someone's going out. Someone's going out. And I can assure you, I will not be the first one to shoot. Way to block that. We need to start working on our combos, though. Like, there's certain combos you can throw. Like, if we body Good straight block. and then head kick. Like, with our lead leg, maybe. Oh, like that, see? We can start throwing these pretty decent combos. I like that body kick. I feel like people always catch us with the kicks to the leg. I need to get better at checking him. Fitness is looking nice. Let's get that up a little bit. Man, we just don't have any strikes. Like, all we have is basic ones. Just hook, jab. I mean, nothing crazy. Just wait until we can unlock something there. Okay. The question mark kick is tricky to see coming. Keep your block high. Okay. This guy has a question mark kick? That's a little scary. Little bit scary. We'll start worrying about popularity too. Once we get near our rival, we don't really have to worry about it before that anyway. Just work on a little submission defense. Maybe go back into power again? Yeah, I mean, a little bit of power can't hurt. Let's just spam it this whole, this whole time. Again, and then I just am trying to get this done early because this can come back to bite you if you don't get this done early on in your career. So why don't we just spam this power and just get it done. Just get it done. We should be up to at least 90 power by this next upgrade. Um, and that, I mean, that's really what I want to build our guy. I just want, I kind of just want people to fear us, to be honest. I want to be that name nobody wants to fight. Alright, we're at 90 there, so we can go back into a little more accuracy, a little more strike stamina, but we're so one-dimensional right now. So one-dimensional, but hey, if we keep it standing, hey, we always got a chance. We always got a chance. Let's go ahead and see our walkout, though. You know, we, our first UFC appearance here. Let's see what we got. Alright, guys, here we are. A little UFC minutes. So this hey everyone, is about. I'm Megan O'Leary, and this is your UFC Minute. The UFC returns this weekend with a fresh face who is destined to make headlines. They talk when about UFC me. President Dana White went looking for a fight. He was yep. hoping that he would end up with a future UFC star, and those are the expectations after he signed a regional champion who has dominated the local welterweight circuit en route to his octagon debut this weekend. Let's, let's put on a show, man. Let's, let's put on a show for our first freaking fight in the UFC here. We got some commentators now? Feeling a little more important? A little commentating action? We walking out first? Yeah, probably. See what they say. Not many people in the crowd. Not many people in the crowd. We hear a lot about those UFC nerves, and sometimes it leads to an adrenaline dump, and that can be the difference in a win or a loss. So if he can bottle the nerves and deal with the bright lights of the famed octagon, there is no denying the skill set, the skills, the demeanor. That's what got him to the big show. We'll see if he can perform now in the UFC. Okay. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. His yes. opponent is going to need to keep his chin tucked. Yes, that's what we have. Tell him, Joe. Tell him. 
All right, we don't need to see our other guy. Oh, we're doing the freaking uh, billionaire strut from Connor. I'll take him, man. Our first UFC fight, showing off that confidence. Showing off that confidence. For this fight. All right, what's the tail of the take here? Okay. That's actually a pretty big thing for us that we're the bigger fighter here, considering this other guy's a striker, too. We have the advantages, which is nice. Let's hear Bruce announce us. Hype me up, bro. Come on, Buffer. The king, bro. The king. All right, Jeremiah Rodriguez. Salty record. Salty record, not gonna lie. The Freak. Okay. Bit of a weird name. Bit of a weird name. Not gonna lie. Let's get let's get into it though. Let's make everybody know why they uh, should be excited for us. Nice. I, I'm gonna go after this guy. Why you backing up, man? Thought you were a brawler. Oh my! Dude, we just head kicked him in the face. Oh, bro, you scared? Oh, we're we might end him real quick here. No! He knocked me down with the leg kick. That front kick might have put his lights out. Uh, just like that. Let's taunt him. Come on, bruh. What do you got? Dude, we're landing some devastating shots on this guy. He shouldn't be able to take anymore. Come on, let's show him our ground and pound. Please. Get that ground and pound going, bruh. Okay, well, at least he just goes back to his feet. I'll take it. I mean, if you want to hang on your feet with me, you be my guest. I mean, we uh, kind of shredded you. That slip is real good. See, that's the kind of fighter I want to be there. Be right out of range until it's our time. Oh, this guy's got elbows. Oh, Jesus. Dude, we're hurting this guy. I want those elbows. I want those elbows. Punch my mic. I want those elbows, bro. This guy won't let us up. Okay. I gotta wait for this guy to expend a little energy trying to pull us down. Let's go to that. He's bleeding. I'm gonna target it. Come on, how are we not defending this? Dude, we have no ground game. We might just be better off getting up. We can't... Okay, yeah, we gotta get up. We, we honestly... We have no ground game right now. Oh, bro, you got nothing. What are you doing? I'm handcuffed. I'm handcuffed. Ugh, probably don't want to eat a high kick after that. A little embarrassing. Leg kick is there. Oh, Come on! That was a big left hand he connected with. So under 30 seconds to this go guy, I, I think he's scared of us right now. First round. Oh, you're so lucky. Very impressive. Big shot there. Oh! That's a perfect slip and counter. Jesus, dude, that guy's a massacre right now. We dropped him three or four times? How many? So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll Look at that slip. Look at that slip, dude. Come on. That slip was insanity. Come back with the uppercut, just boom. Dude, come on. That is, that's, that's IQ. That's fighter IQ. Oh, he cut me. Oh, that cut has really All right. Up now, Joe. Oh, oh, 
You're stunned, aren't you, bro? You're stunned! Yeah, the power's too much! The power is too much! Yes! Yes! Did you guys see that? Oh, we're hyped. Dude, he just curled up. We had so much power. Oh my god. I mean, did you see him? He's literally just curled up in a ball. Look at that. Just that one strike. Jesus, he, he just had to give up. Just that hook right to the freaking head. Boom. And he goes down and just goes into the fetal position. Yeah. Ooh, right in that ear too. He's not gonna. Ha he's gonna have some collie ear when he wakes up. He gonna have that collie ear. I'll take that first dub. I'll take that first dub in the UFC though. Bro. Four and zero, oh, right? How about that? You got a new dog up in here, all right? At 170, and it's me. It's me. What do we got? Four KOs in a row? Dude, we're shredding people out here. New hairstyle, though. Maybe it's that new hairstyle hype. That's a dub, though. That's a dub. All right, here we go. Go to progress. So we need to get these to enter the GOAT. Well, the, the GOAT, obviously, greatest of all time. Um, so we need six performance records, which is on the left, and then two promotion records. So probably, I mean, that's going to take a long time to get there. We don't have to worry about that now. We're still at the beginning of our career. Jesus, dude, look at the freaking night we had. Four knockdowns. Jesus, dude. Might need to find a new career after that one. Might need to find a new career, whoever we just fought. So and Sue, who we got next, man? Line them up. I like where it says people, uh, like people will say stuff to you after this. One punch is all it takes when at us is in the octagon. Great camp. Man, it's a, it's a bit rough that we can't change the created fight, fight or social. I didn't even see like we had to enter that. Whatever though. No jitters. First time for you. Nice win. Nice fight for your debut. Congrats. Coming from Jimmy Rivera, that's not bad. Megan O'Levy seems like a legit prospect. Can't wait for his next fight. You know what? Gonna maybe flirt with Megan a little bit. Humbled. Humbled. You know, just gonna throw that out there. Just gonna throw that out there. You know, shoot our shot. Shoot our shot. Who do we got next? Who wants it? Who wants it? I'm ready for all comers, man. All comers. This is like Chuck Liddell. Literally looks exactly like him almost. Okay, now we do want to fight sooner. 120. We can fight at 120. He's still a member of my gym, though, which is tough. Yeah, I just don't want to betray my gym. I guess we'll go with this guy. Hudson Lewis. Let's take it on. That is going to take an end to this episode, though. I think that was a good episode for today. You know, we got a couple fights in. Made our way to the UFC. 4-0 record. Looking like a legit prospect out here. Four straight knockouts. You know what? It's looking pretty nice. How are you guys enjoying the series? Let me know if you guys are enjoying it. And how you guys think we're doing so far. Oh, wait. Actually, let's go ahead and check out who's the champ at our division. Because it, it's not... I don't think it's the same people like in real life. So, featherweight, you got Jose Aldo. Lightweight, Connor's not the champ. Okay. Khabib. Okay, and then you got us. Wow, we're not ranked, but we're near in that top 15. Robbie's the champ. What? Robbie Lawler, you got Tyron dropping. Jorge's up there. Hafiado Sanjos. See, the thing about 172 is it's not like the top 15 are monsters, which they are, but it's not just that. It's the guys coming up from be behind it. Because even though the guys aren't in the top 15, I mean, look at these guys. You got Colby Covington, 14 and 1. Darren Till, 17 and 1. Kamara Usman's in here somewhere, 14 and 1. Leon Edwards, 16 and 3. I mean, Mike Perry, 12 and 3. You see, you got monsters. Santiago Ponzinibbio, 29 and 3. 
Where are all these guys? Why aren't they ranked? Especially the one loss guys. See, that's what makes the 170s so tough. So freaking tough. That's going to be a rough and to climb. We're going to have to try to climb that. That's going to do it, though. I'll catch you guys next episode. Peace out.